What's up guys, Trizzle Trey with Triz Tech and Electronics. In today's video, we're doing another Top 3 City at Tips, Tricks, and Tweaks video. So as you guys know, I released a Top 3 Tweaks video last week on February 6th, so last Wednesday. So it's been exactly one week since I released my first Top 3 Tweaks video. And I'm going to do this every week from here on out. Every Wednesday, I'm going to be releasing a Top City at Tweaks video. So this week, it's actually going to be a Top 4 Favorite Tweaks because I couldn't figure out which one of these four to leave off. I wanted to show you all four of them. And instead of just leaving one of them off, I decided, well, I'll do a top four tweaks video this week. So that's enough of me yammering on here. Let's get into this video right now. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about today is a theme called Icon. Now what this is, this is a benchmark theme. And it's available for $2.99 inside of the Big Boss repo in Cydia. So let's get in to see what this does. Now, when you have Icon installed, uh, it changes the icons of everything on your device. So if you look here, the phone, the Safari, the Gmail, settings, YouTube, just to name a few, are all different. The applications and icons look a lot different. They actually look a lot classier, in my opinion. Now, to get this thing running, you have to run through Winterboard, which is, you know, one of your number one tweaks. It's all of it. It's a theme launcher uh, for Cydia, so any uh, tweaks or whatever that you download from Cydia normally run through Winterboard. So if we go into Winterboard here and we say select themes, you can see here that it has the icon iPod, which will change the icon on your music player on your iPhone or iPod or iPad, whatever the device is that you have jailbroken. Uh, you can change the user interface, the status bar, springboard, phone, messages, lock screen, and backboard. And that's just in the stock pack of icon, but you can actually download more icon uh, themes from Cydia. So the next tweak that we're going to be talking about here is called Showcase. Now this is available for free out of the Big Boss repo. Now I'm going to show you guys what this is. We're going to go back home and we're going to go into TweetBot. And we're going to act like we are going to be sending out a tweet. So let's say new tweet. Now we're in a blank space here. Uh, and if you see here, we are in capital letters. As you notice here, the normal keyboard on iOS, this is still the stock keyboard, it's just tweaked. And if you see here, normally it always stays in capital letters no matter what part of the sentence you're in. But here, if we're in the beginning of the sentence, it's a capital letter. So we're going to say this. See, now it drops to lowercase letters. This is something that I love. This is something that Android's been doing for a very long time uh, so that you can tell what part of a sentence you're in or, or what what case you're in when you're in the middle of a sentence. Oh, on my iPhone, I find myself writing capital letters a lot because I can't tell if they're in capital or in lowercase because just the little shift button lights up and my thumb tends to cover that when I'm in the middle of typing a message. Uh, so I do like that it, it changes that. I think it's, it's very good. Uh, and if you double tap and you go back to and throws in a period, uh, you can start over again in a capital letter. So it's really cool. It does recognize what case and what part of the sentence you're in. And this one is called Swipe Selection. This is also free and inside of the Big Boss repo in Cydia. So it's called Swipe Selection. Now we're going to go back into that same tweet that we were working on inside of TweetBot. Now, you know, sometimes it's really annoying when you've misspelled a word in the beginning of a sentence and you've got to pull up this stupid magnifying glass to get your cursor lined up. And it, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it's not reactive. It's just annoying. With swipe selection, you don't have to worry about that. You just slide your finger across the keyboard and you can notice my cursor moving around. So no matter where you are, as long as you don't just push and let go, see how that picked up a letter? Well, if you don't do that, if you, if you push and hold down and then slide and slide around, it does this swipe selecting so you can go and I can slide over and delete that letter that I messed up and then I can slide back to where I'm starting from. Awesome, I really hope that in iOS 7 that Apple releases this in iOS 7 as just a normal part of the OS. Now for the fourth one, since I couldn't leave this one off this week, we're going to go in to show you the last one of these tweaks that we're going to talk about this week. And this one is called Zephyr. Now Zephyr is available for $4.99 inside of the Big Boss repo. So all of these uh, tweaks that I talked about this week are available inside the Big Boss repo in Cydia. This one is the most expensive. It is available for $5 inside of the Big Boss repo. So I'm going to go back to the home screen. We're going to go back into TweetBot. Now, let's say that we, you know, we want to go back to Cydia, but we're still in the application. You know, normally you got to double tap the home button to pull up the switcher and then you can move. Well, with Zephyr, you can just scroll to the right. Now look, I'm back inside of Cydia. That simple. Now let's say I want to go back to TweetBot. I want to do, I see something on here, but I want to take it back to TweetBot. Boom. Just scroll back, back into TweetBot. Now let's say I want to close TweetBot. Tap the bottom and scroll up. Boom. We're out of there. Another thing that's cool is that we can bring up the switcher by just scrolling 
up from the bottom of the home screen, which is really awesome. So that's really cool. A lot of people tend to break their home buttons and this really solves that problem. So that pretty much does it for today's top tweaks and tips here on Cydia after the iOS 6 through 6.11 untethered jailbreak evasion. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and as I said at the beginning of this, leave me some comments in the comment section below if you are enjoying these type of videos and that you're having fun with these. So definitely leave a comment, subscribe to the Triz Tech and Electronics channel if you haven't done so yet. We've got a whole bunch more content coming at you guys here in the next few days. Edubs has some pretty cool gaming content coming at you guys here real soon. So hope that you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Peace.